Hey guys, Jared back. So in this video, we're going to be showing you how to root your Galaxy Note 3 in the most painless and easiest way possible, all the while keeping our warranty intact. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first and foremost, while I'm going through all of the other downloads that you're going to need, um, what I recommend you doing is plugging in your Note 3 to your PC if you haven't done so already, just so you can get the uh, driver downloads and everything like that started by itself automatically. Uh, you should see the little box here if it'll pop up ah, it's not popping up for me anyways you'll be able to see it it'll all the drivers will start downloading as soon as you plug it in uh, now while that's doing its thing uh, go ahead and click on the link in the description below this video which will actually take you to this XDA thread uh, now uh, design gears who is very famous on XDA well famous you know in terms of uh, geeks and nerds um, so big shout out to him for supplying us with this awesome method to keep our warranty intact for those of you out there that are uh, concerned about voiding your warranty um, so what you're going to want to do is go to this page and we're going to scroll down. Of course, you can always have a read through everything here. It's always a good idea, just like I did. I'm just going to kind of get a better understanding of what you're exactly it is you're doing. But most importantly, you're going to kind of scroll down to the second post on the page here. And you'll notice this big in pink here, root de la Vega dot zip slash Odin version 3.09. Now, if you've got any other version other than 3.09, it's probably not going to work because this is a special version, uh, which I'll show you in a minute here why it's special. So right underneath that pink uh, writing there, we've got a little download link. So go ahead and click download on that. Um, obviously, if you have WinRAR or WinZip or something like that, go and save it somewhere, um, you know, that you'll remember and then extract it to your, to, well, basically to wherever. Uh, so basically that will give me, oh, sorry, close that down because my Note 3 is plugged in. So I'm going to go to my downloads folder where I always have everything stored. And um, I've already gone ahead and taken it upon myself to download it. So uh, I'm going to locate it, which is root de la Vega Note 3. That's the folder that I created. And once we get in there, I've already extracted it. And this is what you should see right there. If I can zoom in just a tad, that should be good there. So I'm going to go ahead and open that bad boy up and get that ready to go. It's going to ask you for permission. Go ahead and grant it. And boom, there it is. And you'll notice, just like I said before, it's a little bit different than the other versions because now we have AP and CSC. And you're probably wondering, what the heck do we need that for? Well, let's show you. So the files needed in order to keep your warranty safe are two separate files the ap file and your csc file well you need to make sure that you download the correct files corresponding with your phone so how do we do that well go ahead and grab your phone jump into the dialer and type star pound one two three four pound and that'll give you the information so i'll bring it closer to the uh, screen uh, to the camera here you'll notice we've got my ap and csc versions right so that's your ap version that's your csc version so let's go ahead and cross reference it with the versions available on the website uh so if you'll look here um this is the model number and the um AP version that I need. So I've already gone ahead and downloaded it. So obviously you're going to need to find the one that works with you. This should work with the majority of devices up there. Yes, Sprint users, you're good to go. T-Mobile users, you're good to go. This should work with most any uh, Galaxy Note 3s. Okay, so once you've downloaded that, then we need to cross-reference again with our CSC version, which is a long list of CSCs. Luckily and conveniently for me, mine was just below the Sprint version here. So I've already gone ahead and downloaded that. Uh, if you need time, go ahead and pause the video and um, look for your specific CSC version and download that. They're all um, mega upload files, so you'll have them downloaded in no time. We all know that they've got some awesome download speeds there. Alrighty, so now that we've got those two um, important files downloaded as well as the Odin uh, program downloaded and running in the background, um, what we're gonna do is then go down to our Odin file, or program, I'm sorry, open that bad boy up, and we're gonna load up the AP version first. So I'm gonna click AP, and then it's gonna bring up a file browser. Um, obviously, I already navigated to the um, folder that contains the file, so go ahead and navigate to the folder that contains the files that you need. Uh, so you'll notice we've got CSC and Vega. Obviously, CSC is, well, the CSC file. Vega is obviously the AP file. So we're gonna go ahead and highlight that and click open to add it in the program there. Now. It's gonna take my computer a while because this, I, I use a Mac computer and I only use my Windows machine just for hacking and modding my Android devices. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video now and wait for this to finally finish loading up though for probably 99.9% .9 of you guys out there, it'll happen just like that. So give me a minute and we'll be back in just a moment. Alrighty, now that that's been loaded up, we're gonna go ahead down to our CSC box there. Go ahead and click on that. And we are going to locate our CSC tar file. Click open. And that'll be added in just a moment, of course, on your computer faster than mine. Alrighty, next thing you're going to do is actually unplug your phone from the computer. 
and we are going to power it off and we're going to put it into uh, download mode. So just wait for it to power off there. Then what we're going to want to do is press the power button, volume down and home button all at the same time. Press and hold for a few. Just wait for it. There we go. Boom. Right into download mode. And we're going to go ahead and follow the instructions. Please focus. There we go. And go ahead and press volume up now to get into the download mode. Alrighty. Now what we can do is go ahead and plug back, plug your phone back into your PC like so. And then we'll go ahead and you'll notice that pops up there. Alrighty. So it's been added and with everything loaded up, all you have to do now is just click start. And I'll go ahead and I'll bring the phone into the shot as well just so you can see what's happening. Alrighty, so as you can see, that did take a little bit. It took about five minutes or so uh, to fully complete, so you're just gonna have to have a little bit of patience. Alrighty, so once your phone is all booted up, ready to go, uh, what you're gonna wanna then do is put your phone down for a moment, and we can go ahead and close down Odin, so I'll just go ahead and click exit there. Now, um, for me, I ended up dropping the zip for the Odin um, into its own folder here. So I've got two zip files, one of which was just extracted. So in order to find out which one, uh, the extra one that you're gonna need to extract, go ahead and click on extract here. And as you can see, it's already, so I'm extracting the same thing. So then I go to the next one, which I now know is the other file that becomes extracted. And you'll notice, boom, now we've got root de la vega.sh and root files. So what we're gonna do is we are going to go ahead and continue following the instructions here. You'll notice here it actually says, um, you know, let your device uh, boot after flashing is complete. Copy the contents of root de la vega dot zip to the root of the internal storage. Um, that being the dot sh and the root files folder itself, not just the files inside of it, okay? So uh, what we're gonna do is, if I can locate how to, what we're gonna wanna do is um, go ahead and open up your phone's internal storage because remember it's still plugged into your PC and I'm going to go ahead and open it up there and this is what you call the root of your internal storage for those of you that are unaware. Um, you can see this is where all the files and folders and things like that are. So that said we can go back to where the heck was it? Uh, go ahead and click back and I'll click back again and we can go ahead and highlight both of those both those files there. I'm just going to go ahead and click um, copy and I'm going to go back to my phone's internal storage, right click in here and I'm going to go ahead and paste both of those files and folders in there. All right. Then we can go ahead and unplug your phone from your uh, PC and we're actually going to go ahead and simply reboot the device. So as you can see here, device will restart. We'll wait for that to finish. Okay. So once that's booted up, uh, go ahead and plug it back into your PC. And we should wait because the file explorer window should pop up any moment now. And if it doesn't, go ahead and jump into, um, uh, go ahead and locate the uh, your device's internal storage, which I have right there. And I'll get back in there. And now what we wanna do is um, delete those uh, files that we ended up copying over. So remember it was uh, root de la vega. So I'm gonna go ahead and control there as well as the root files. And then we're gonna go ahead and delete those. Permanently delete, yes. And then we're gonna go ahead and unplug from our PC again and reboot one more time. There you go. We'll wait for that to fully boot up again. So now what we can do is head on over to the Play Store and I'm going to go ahead and download uh, Root Checker. Whoops. Root. <laughs> Some of my autocorrect words. So here we go. Root Checker. And I'll click Install and Accept. And we're going to click Open. I agree. Yes, okay. And verify root access. It's gonna ask us for super user permission. Go ahead and grant. There we go, congratulations. This device has been rooted. So there you go, guys, that's all there is to it. It's a bit more of a, a, a hassle with this particular device here uh, versus all the other uh, Galaxy devices that we've experienced in the past. Um, however, I know that those of you out there are always, I do always get comments from people being like, oh, does it void my warranty? Well, this particular method won't void your warranty. That said though, 
Uh, at this point in time, the time of this recording, this is the only known root method to uh, root it without voiding your warranty. But if you flash a custom recovery or a custom ROM after doing this or any other root method for that matter, uh, you will trip that Nox counter and your warranty, warranty will be void and there is no way of reversing that. Um, anyways, guys, that's basically it. Hope you enjoy having root. Uh, if you get yourself in trouble, I'm going to be actually right now doing a video on how to unbrick and unroot your device just in case you get yourself into trouble uh, down the road. Anyways, guys, if you like this video or you found it helpful, please go ahead and click that likes button down below. And if you're new to the channel and want to watch more videos like this one, ROM reviews and how to's, things like that, uh, be sure to subscribe for more videos in the future as well. Um, you can always stay up to date on all things of smoking Android by following me on Twitter and Google Plus. Those links are in the description below as well. But that's it for now, though, guys. Uh, enjoy. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers.